this, your listeners really should know this. So what? Uh, this happens all the time. Uh, caregivers, um, oh. people who come in, who, uh, you know, I'm here to help you. I'm helping you. I'm actually yeah. going to take yeah. everything from underneath. Oh, that you. was the movie's title. It was we. I care a lot. I care a lot. Oh, yeah. I'm going to watch that again. Yeah, that was. And, and that. So this happens here in Orange County. It happens everywhere. And uh, the worst part is, is let's say that the grandma uh, might be just slightly believing it, that little uh, Susie might be after her money or something like that. So these people start chirping in their ears uh, stories about you or I to our, our parents or grandparents. Assistant. Yeah. And next thing you know, you you can't contact them. All of a sudden, there's a yeah. security they, they, they guard. They isolate somebody them, around. right? And, yeah. then, uh, and then they start sucking their... Then they get their checkbook. And then they, I'll pay this bill for the gardener. Next thing you know, you're just broke. Yes. And so we as kids have to pay attention to our parents yeah. and spend more time yeah. really looking at who's around, from neighbors to assistants, the people who help them. Um, and uh, just you have to renew your relationship with your mom and dad all the time. It's very unfortunate. I see it a lot because I, I know Orange County is full of really wealthy elderly and they're only getting older. The, the, that generation, the baby boom generation yeah. is that that age now. They're getting like that age where eventually, yeah. you know, and people are bragging. Like I was at this gathering and they're, oh, I'm going to start a retirement home. We can suck them dry. And oh, they're all getting this age. I, this money's going to be coming mm -hmm. in. I'm so excited. And I listened to these bucks and I was like, yeah, that could be if I didn't have the means to take care of my mother and my father, mm -hmm. my stepfather, I would, I would, I would probably have to put them in one of those to that person that was just bragging about how they were going to suck them dry and keep them alive just long enough. Yeah. That that's it just to me. Um, so is there any type of protection that families, so say for instance, we didn't find out in time and these people did move in and we couldn't get them off the property. What type of lawyer do you hire for that? You, you, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So I what, mean, what, what do I, who do I, so if I'm just an average viewer of my podcast and I'm yeah. like, okay, my, I think, like something's going on with my mom. Like my my uh, friend Christy, she had a situation with her mom's caregiver before she passed away. Was writing herself checks. Yeah. And now whether or not she was doing it maliciously or not, she was concerned and she had no one to talk to. I held. I listened to a lot of it, but I like get a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Get that girl out of there. Exactly. But I didn't know who to call. I'm like, what kind of lawyer is it? Like a state lawyer. What, what type of affordable lawyer? Is there an affordable lawyer, James, yeah. is what I'm so, asking? Is there such thing as an affordable lawyer in today's society in Orange County? I mean, so uh, one would be called, someone who's called an elder lawyer, elder law. Elder law, okay. Yeah, and uh, financial elder abuse lawyer. Okay. Uh, and people that do that, that is exactly kind of what we're dealing with. And do they take, like, Medical profession, they take thirty-three and a third. Is it like do, how do the how yeah, do the lawyers, the lawyers get paid? do take a percentage? If you don't pay them by the hour, they'll take a percentage. They'll take a percentage. But you know, a little again, bit down and some a percentage uh, to win. Like the case. a hybrid, yes, a hybrid. Maybe a lower reduce hourly fee and then a percentage of whatever you recover. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a huge problem. You know, I I used to sue nursing homes, so I oh. I really. <laughs> so you understand my pain when I yeah. hear this story oh, no, of this I person. Totally do. And, you know, that's how I learned how all these corporate structures really work um, and how, like, the nursing home operates. There's, like, four corporations. One owns the land and the building. One leases all the equipment. One leases the employees. And then you have the operator. And the operator is paying all these bills to all these people, and so they never have any money. But they're the magnet for litigation. Oh, it sounds so, like New York unions. Oh, okay. so, <laughs> so they break it up enough to where they're, so if something does go south, there's nobody that those people can even sue because they're all everybody they're is all, connected. all behind a wall that they can't get Correct. to. Correct. It's a... Uh, and that's, uh, why yes. do we have laws like that? That is so messed up. So that's why they, they form these uh, entities. So you have to be able to trace this stuff back. Wow. And that's I've crazy. just been blessed with that. Um, early education on that to follow the money and follow how that worked. And now I can just see it. Um, I really, when I'm on a case, I have this philosophy that, uh, um, you know, if I can think it, they've already done it. 
And yeah. so I just sort of think, well, if I were them, hmm. what bad thing would I do? And then I go hunt for it. Yeah. Um, and and, and I'm usually, <laughs> usually right. So usually I, find it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you, um, and, and then another little key thing for people is, you know, I'm from Wisconsin, so Vince Lombardi, great quote, you know, uh, you know, winning isn't a, a sometime thing. It's an all the time thing. Winning yeah. becomes a habit. Unfortunately, yeah. so does losing. All right. People who lie, who steal, you catch them once on even the smallest thing. I'm telling you, they're, they've been stealing the whole time. Forever. Yes. All the time. Just so, so little things like that. That is the, uh, those yeah. are the keys on how you can determine whether somebody is, is, defrauding you if they if they lie about one thing you, for sure they've everything. either done it to you or somebody else forever absolutely yeah. yeah yeah so same with you know i was thinking we can get into the cheater conference just kidding <laughs> <laughs> yes anyway we are a housewife we are a lifestyle podcast james well, lifestyle podcast. <laughs> it's, it's a reality it is reality, reality lifestyle podcast daily logic check Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Daily Logic Check. I'm Elizabeth Vargas, your host, with my co-host, Andrew Vargas. If you like what you saw, you like what you see, click like, subscribe, follow us, and support us on Patreon. Peace, love, and happiness.